So, well, I mean, what uh, do you think should I talk about right now? Uh, ACAL? Or about about uh, your talk you gave this morning? Well, I mean, it's, it's difficult to repeat the talk in a, uh, let's say, in an environment that is not naturally the elect like a lecture hall, but uh, let me just repeat the statements of, uh, the key statements of uh, I gave this morning. And, uh, you know, I, I talked about chemical self-replicating systems and about kind of minimal implementation to um, arrive at chemical self-replicating systems. Um, I talked about the background, why this question appeared interesting uh, about 20 years ago. People in these days thought that life originated on our planet in an RNA world and if life originated in an RNA world then of course short pieces of nucleic acid of RNA and DNA must be able to replicate in the absence of enzymes. And uh, we did experiments in 86 showing that indeed short pieces of DNA can be replicated in the absence of enzymes and then the field later became more attractive to other um, chemists because the scheme behind its implementation was translatable into other classes of structures used for template, uh, for the templating purposes. Well, more recently we have been involved in uh, the question whether uh, nanostructures, defined three-dimensional nanostructures, are uh, able to replicate and we have found that it is indeed the case if one uh, self-assembles such nanostructures from informational building block carrying three different arms, we call them tris oligos, and if one is able to copy the connectivity information in these uh, building blocks, then of course this is the, uh, let's say, the, 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 the important uh, for future attempts to uh, replicate the whole nanostructure. So far we have been able to synthesize by non-covalent chemistry, by self-assembly, tetrahedral nano-objects. We have now showed that the connectivity of one class of these building blocks can be copied. Uh, once we have all four, then we will probably write another paper. And uh, well, recent developments in nanotechnology, like the um, uh, self-assembly of structures, it, well, it's very related with what you're doing with uh, self-replication uh, re of structures. Uh, could you already imagine some applications which this technology might have? If well, yes. I mean, uh, there are certainly some some applications that um, uh, that may come up if. Uh, more modes of artificial replication can be found. Why replication at all? I mean, in the in industrial context, replication has the same meaning as integration in electronics. I mean, if you are able to, to, to integrate electronic circuitry, you can, uh, let's say, establish Moore's law. And uh, mm -hmm. now chemistry, uh, in biology, you know, it's, uh, growth is, is the recipe for sustainment of everything. And in chemistry, this kind of uh, re chemistry replication was not, n n not, not addressed so far. But if it's possible to um, replicate uh, objects, then it's possible to make things cheaper, to pay for complexity. Complex drugs, for example, uh, composed of many, many units, would not be sellable to the market if there is no possibility to, to replicate them from simpler units that uh, can be paid in the, from, the cost of pr from the perspective of the cost of production. And so uh, we think that once um, uh, replicable matter uh, uh, based on connectivity uh, schemes, for example, are uh, addressable, uh, is addressable, then a new generation of drugs may come out in which uh, the arraying of modules to the to the scaffold uh, is used, for example, to scan the surface of a cell to look for a complementary ge geometric arrangement of cell surface molecules, such as uh, uh, integrins, G-protein, couple receptors, lectins, and so on. 
So far it is not known whether these cell surface molecules are freely movable in the cell membrane or whether they are, to what extent they are bound to the cytoskeleton. So if the cytoskeleton imprints 2D spatial information uh, to the outside of the cell, then one should be able um, to, uh, to map those patterns by using the proper geometrical matching nanostructures. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.